Hello everybody, this is Neetu Rishi, your host in the Inspiring Series. We are a public speaking and leadership institute and we invite difference makers and young artists to inspire the people. Today I have with me Miss Ishita, a young artist. Welcome Ishita to our show. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Very nice, I'm good. We all love artwork. We appreciate it, we buy and we decor our homes. Because art is something which spreads positivity around us. But do we ever think the artists the hours they spend behind making all that and bringing it into canvas. So today Ishita is going to share all those secrets with us. Is that? Okay, about Ishita, she is a ninth grader and art is her first passion. She has been a Youth Art Month winner twice. She is also a state medalist for the Visual Arts Scholastic Event Competition. Recently, she won a medal at the Regional Waste and proceeded to state level for her painting Forever Alone. Lots of congratulations for this achievement. I'm sure your parents are so proud of you. Yes. So though her main goal is to become a doctor, but she also enjoys playing tennis, doing dance, and reading books. Let's listen more from her. So Ishita, since what age are you in love with colors and canvas? Um, I've loved art since as far as I remember, but what piqued my interest was um, an art competition in second grade mm -hmm. um, where different artists just drew whatever they imagined. Mm -hmm. And although, as you can imagine, the paintings weren't um, perfect, right. they really represented the mm -hmm. young minds. Um, that's when I first realized that art is not about drawing pretty things, but it's mm -hmm. about um, representing yourself. That's true. So you have you're so focused on that. But how about this competition? How did you get this idea for starting this painting? Um, the idea came from a rose. Um, I like roses a lot, mm -hmm. but roses have two sides to them. Um, on the outside, they're pretty and they have petals, but if you touch them, they have mm -hmm. thorns. So that's where my two-faced idea came from. Mm -hmm. And then with that, I drew three compositions mm -hmm. that showed that idea a little more. Mm -hmm. um, and then I made a cycle of life. Wow, that is so, I mean, so deep, isn't that? And you know, we, we all say that each art has a story to say. So what is the story behind this painting? Um, the story behind this painting is based on the happiness versus the sadness in the life, sort of like a, the yin and yang. Mm -hmm. um, people usually show that they're happy and attractive on the outside, like roses, mm -hmm. but on the inside they're really lonely and sad. Mm -hmm. And as you get closer to the sadness, mm -hmm. um, the flowers start shriveling, which means that mm -hmm. as you get closer to the sadness, the light inside you starts getting taken away by the thorns. Mm -hmm. Are you truly a ninth grader? <laughs> And it's so sincere <laughs> thoughts you have. And how much time did it take to finish this painting? It took me about uh, one month, but I worked every day whenever I had time. Mm -hmm. And mostly on weekends and near the due date. So you kept yourself occupied yes. every, time. <laughs> every time. And you, you are good in academics, you are good in so many extracurricular activities. And after that you do these paintings. How do you manage your time? Um, I prioritize and I make an agenda, mm -hmm. um, but there's always time for the things that you love, like family and mm -hmm. art. So you know time management. Yes. <laughs> come along with me to give a time management training. <laughs> <laughs> and you wish to become a doctor, is that right? Right. It's, um, yeah, I'm very interested in biology as well, mm -hmm. um, but art is always going to be something that I keep with me because without art, I feel incomplete. It's sort mm -hmm. of like a relief to all the academic stress. So along with becoming a doctor, you're going to plan your artistic skills to go with you? Right, yeah, I'm going to so minor nice. in art in college. It's so good because your passion, your dreams, if you take them along, I think you, you feel happy. Right. right. And you said this is this word says a stress-free thing for you. Yes. That's so nice. And would you like to say something to our young artists who are in love with colors and canvas and they want to achieve something? Yes, um, I would like to say that you should never give up or doubt your own capabilities because sometimes you don't know yourself what you're capable of and you should not let doubt hinder your ability to try new thing and take risks. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. I heard somewhere, art is not what you see, it is what you make others see. And today we have witnessed that. Thank you so much, Ishita, for joining us today. We wish you best of luck for our, our old, uh, whole Inspiration Masters team for all your future projects. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thanks for so joining much. us. Thank you.